Hi everyone, welcome to a new Godot video. And as you can see here, I have four enemies. I also created a brutal animation. I used Krita to create pixel art animation. Now let's see what happens if we shoot a guy here. This is what it looks like and after a while this guy will appear again so you can't kill them and if you shoot three for example they will appear in that order and they can't kill you but they have collision You can even stand on one guy and you get this floating effect. There is one problem. If we shoot one enemy, you can see there is a collision box. And when I followed Uma Pixel's tutorial, he used enemy call disabled and that should remove the collision box but does it really? save and run let's see and shoot and no you can't move through the collision box so I spent hours and hours trying to find a solution and found this one, this solution, and that is you simply set a new global transform and save the old transform. You might be thinking, well, if we set the scale to zero and zero, wouldn't that take care of the problem? So global scale, and this will set uh, an empty vector so here we have global scale one that would be width and height in percent and one is 100 percent so let's see if we step over then we get a very low number but it's not zero but it is a very small number and let's continue and see what happens so as you can see the collision box is there and this is weird so the collision box is a, a small very small dot but the player can still collide with it and this dot is above the ground so disable doesn't work and setting the scale doesn't work so my solution is to save the global transform to a temporary variable called old transform and then assign an empty transform 2d to global transform this means that you basically will have a very small dot in the left top corner here so I was quite happy with that solution and if we restore the global transform here you will see that everything is working fine and let's shoot and as you can see I can walk in this and if the enemy reappear again then I will be pushed away now the really cool thing that I have just discovered render my old solution pretty much useless that is using collision layers so what you do is you set the collision mask to 2 and collision layer to 2 and that is in kinematic body 2d you can see layer 1 and layer 1 and we are moving it 
to the second layer, layer 2. Just for a short while. I don't fully understand collision layer and collision mask yet, but I have to move both the mask and the layer. You can't use w only one of them. You have to use both, uh, otherwise it will not work. And then you pretty much restore the layer like this. If you don't use this, then when the enemy appear, it will just fall down. It will not hit the tile set. So let's see what happens. Enemy burns up and we can walk through it. Then it will reappear again. Would be fun to add an animation for reappearance. But this is what I did. And I'm sure there are a bunch of people that struggle with this particular problem. I don't know if this is associated with C Sharp or maybe it simply doesn't work in this version of Godot. And I'm talking about setting the disabled property to true. So guys, if you have this problem, use collision masks and collision layers. It is awesome and I'm very curious about what more I can do with collision masks and layers. I would really appreciate if you hit the like button because this really helps my videos. And if you found my video to be of value then why not subscribe and click the bell notification so that you don't miss any of my future videos that I'm gonna post. Alright, thank you for watching. Take care and I see you in my next video. Bye bye.